The Axial 10.3, pretty darn awesome truck. Great on the trail, can be built into competition, but can it fit a 550 size motor? We're gonna find out. I've got a Holmes Hobby Crawlmaster Sport 15 turn 550 and a Holmes Hobby Crawlmaster Pro 550 10 turn. We're gonna see if these motors fit in the uh, SCX 10.3, and if they do, we're gonna give this one a drive. Take a look. If by chance somebody else built your truck for you, or if at this time you got the RTR version, take these two screws out right here. This comes up, and now you have access to your motor. Take those two screws out right there. Cover comes up. Motor assembly comes right on out. With the screws out of the way, that comes up, and you can take the motor right up you may have to give it a little bit of a twist it will come up and right out motor is bolted in now let's see if we can slide this right into place so you got to get that to sit right down in there just like it's supposed to just like that Yes, there is clearance for a 550. How about that? Beautiful. Now it's time to put the big motor in there. And I want to put this one in. Oh, yeah. Just for the heck of it, let's test fit this down in here. Let's see. Got to get that thing to turn just right. There's a little uh, indentation that fits on that. There we go. Well, I got a lot more room with this one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah. Before I solder up my wires, I wanted to verify that everything still fit fine with a 12 tooth. Now the smallest pinion that you can go by the motor mount is an 11 tooth, so I'm almost at the smallest pinion gear, and I figure with this 10 turn, it should be just about right. Sounds good. Let's get this thing outside. We're gonna start off with the slide again. See what the control is. Get that front end over. It's We'll use a little weight up front. There we go, get that center down. Kind of sounds like a six cylinder with a, with a valve tapping. So that could be like really, really scale. Flipping over. There we go. Speed feels pretty good. It's still first gear as I don't have the shift and uh, jig servo. Speed's good though. Of course, it's on 3S. Here. It's a really pretty truck, that's for sure. I'm going to try something with these tires. They, maybe they'll break in if you're running them, or you know, if you add a lot of brass to it or something like that, then you know, maybe they'll be fine. But I'm not really planning to add a lot of weight to this truck. Woo. Get my shadow in there. My good one-handed operation. Let's take a different route right here. I can take it up. One thing about portal axles, not only do they give you a lot of clearance between the wheels, um, 
when done right, you can also get flat links and a uh, nice high belly. But sometimes that comes with a cost of a high center of gravity. So that's why brass at the portal covers is so important on most portal axle trucks. The portal cover is the lowest spot where you can actually put weight on these. And it really makes a difference. Especially with a truck like this, if you're gonna have a lot of stuff up in the body and your center of gravity is gonna to be too high. Now, you can take this, change the body, um, which I kind of like the body, even though I'm not a Jeep guy. Change the body out, take the interior out, all that stuff, and you know, could really make this perform a lot better because you're taking weight off of the top. And that's kind of what I did when I built the Superlight. You know, I didn't add anything to it. I mean, it's got metal wheels now, but that's just because the tires I want fit the wheels pretty well. Oh, oh, about to flip over there. So, but all I did with that, the super light was just trying to take as much off as I could. I mean, just, that's all there was to it, just take as much off as possible. I trimmed everything on that truck. Even the things that, you know, normally aren't an issue. The control of the Crawlmaster Pro is really, really nice. Hope we don't roll it here. I tell you, this 10-turn Crawlmaster Pro is pretty darn awesome. And this servo is so fast, like that little twitch. If I bump the steering wheel just a little bit, because you know, driving one-handed. The servo reacts, so it's pretty darn responsive. All right, this could get interesting right here. Haha, <laughs> did not flip it. Now this climb right here is known for rolling over trucks. I'm gonna tempt fate here and see. Oh wow. <laughs> Beautiful edge right there. That was a piece of cake. Okay, now we've got this. Um, no, sorry guys. <laughs> no way am I gonna beat this thing to death trying to get that lucky bounce. We'll take it up this though, I think. Oh, this Crawlmaster Pro is flat and nice. And it's been nice in every vehicle I've had it in. It's kind of one of those vehicles that, or motors, that's nice to have out just for these tests to show just what a good brush motor can do really, you know? Ooh, did you see that? And this is what I consider a very, very good brush motor. Hoping to get one of the uh, Magnum motors soon. Get it across this. It's not going to get it like that. There we go. I'm not sure. If I'm even going to be able to complete this climb with this truck. But I'll give it a try because this is kind of a nasty spot through here. You've got to worm your way across without flipping over, which is pretty common on this obstacle, believe it or not. Huh, got that pretty darn easy. That was impressive. I did not expect to walk that, that easy. 
Oh, easy, easy. Easy. <laughs> There we go. And cross over here. Ooh. I need to concrete this in right here to make this a little bit better as far as, you know, workable. But that had no issue. That was nice. Awesome. Very nice motor. Golly, I like this motor. So while I'm walking around, let's try a few stuff. This is some of the oldest obstacles I got back here. Except for the concrete berms. This is fairly new. Let's see if we can take it up to this. Nice. Let me tell you guys, that Crawlmaster Pro 550 is all torque. I guarantee you it's got enough power to just ring something off in here. So that motor is phenomenal. I've run it in several different trucks and I have yet to not be impressed. Now it's just running on a regular uh, Hollywing 1080 ESC here. Um, you can probably power it up a little bit more if you want to do 4S with a home Hobby BRXL ESC. But I really don't think it needs it. Not in this, not at all. So guys, uh, the motor itself is just torquey. And the 10 turns brings the RPM up to where it's usable. The 12 turn version is a little bit slower. Um, a little bit too slow for me, but this one seems to work just fine. So guys, hopefully you liked the video and check that description. There are links in there for this motor and other homes hobby stuff as far as that goes. Um, also eBay and Amazon. I've got different parts and pieces that work on this like Vitavon brass and uh, maybe some gears, um, different parts and pieces. I'll just look around and find some stuff and put them up down there. They are affiliate links. So whatever you put in your cart or on Amazon or eBay, if you use one of my links, go check out. Every little bit counts and every little bit helps. So guys, hopefully you liked the video and thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching.